Ferrari has been one of the most famous and instantly recognizable names in the car manufacturing industry for ages. Known mostly for their sleek and stylish, yet insanely fast and powerful cars, it was a surprise to know that Ferrari were looking to go all electric. But despite making a hybrid car, it turns out this car just might be the fastest car Ferrari has ever made. Welcome to Alicent. In this video, we're going to tell you in detail about Ferrari's fastest hybrid car. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to Alicent and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin. The SF90 is a benchmark Ferrari for sure. It is the most powerful Ferrari car yet, which can be driven legally on roads. It is also the quickest car yet. It is claimed that the car can go from 0 to 124 mph in just 6.7 seconds. Now that is some seriously insane speed, but it truly gets way more interesting than that. The SF90 is the first flagship Ferrari since the F40, which does not have the customary V12 engine. What's more is that it also is the first ever plug-in hybrid that Ferrari has made. It also is the first all-wheel drive mid-engine Ferrari car, as well as the first Ferrari to use brake-by-wire technology. If that was not enough, it also is the first Ferrari sports car fitted with electric power steering. Ferrari has simply done away with any sort of tradition and just focused on producing the best car that they could. It might still have the old-school prancing horse shield on the front fenders like the other cars, and it might also have the drive select buttons arranged in a structure on the center console designed to look like the iconic metal shift gate. But the SF90 is very much a Ferrari of the here and now and the future. A road car clearly developed by a company whose Formula One team is now part of the in-house design as well as the engineering expertise. The car is not the result of an expensive and lucrative sponsorship deal. The product manager of the SF90, Matteo Tricconi, says that this car represents the absolute pinnacle of what Ferrari is capable of doing. Rafael de Simone, the 2021 Ferrari SF90 Stradale test driver, claimed that on the road, things happen much faster than ever in the 488 Pista. He advised drivers to train their necks and reactions accordingly. This was a hint at the car's new 986 HP high-tech hypercar, which will definitely generate prodigious levels of grip while feeling as fast and agile as an actual race car. Raphael went on to praise the handling of the car as well by saying that the corners can be gone through so much quicker now as well. Plug-in Hybrid Powertrain The new and improved SF90 plug-in hybrid powertrain compromises a mid-mounted twin-turbo V8 engine and that develops 769 HP and 590 pound-feet of torque, three electric motors, and a mid-mounted high-voltage battery as well. One of the E-motors is mounted between the engine and the new 8-speed dual-clutch automatic. This develops 157 HP and 196 pound-feet of torque. The other two E-motors are mounted on the front axle, which drive the front wheels. Each of these develops 97 HP and 62 pound-feet of torque. There is also a liquid-cooled single-module 8kW per hour battery, which weighs just 158 pounds. This allows the SF90 to travel up to 15 miles on a purely electric power, using the front motors up to a speed of 84 miles per hour. Revised Engine Okay, so although the SF90's V8 is technically a part of the F154 engine family, which debuted in the California T and has already been used in the 488 and the F8 Tributo, it is not the same because it has been upgraded significantly. The new cylinder heads feature redesigned combustion chambers with centrally mounted injectors that deliver up to a 7% increase in combustion pressure, which increases power. As a result, the capacity has increased slightly from 3.9 liters to a full 4.0 liters. Other changes include the new crank as well as new conrods, new pistons, new camshafts, and a new intake system. The plenums on the system are now virtually bolted to the heads, and there is also a new exhaust. The turbos are the exact same size as the F8 turbo, but the revised compressor scrolls facilitate an increased airflow. The new parts have helped to reduce the engine's weight by 55 pounds, and have also reduced the overall height by at least 12%. This helps the car lower its center of gravity. Aerodynamic Shape To absolutely optimize the SF90 shape, not just for performance sake, but also for hybrid and e-motor running and to assist with thermal management of the powertrain. Ferrari has spent 50% more time in the wind tunnels, trying to hone the aerodynamics than it did with the LaFerrari. In front, the central intake cools the front e-motors, 
while the intakes on either side of the car are for cooling the V8 engine. Learning from the F1 cars, the front floor has been raised by 0.6 inches to accommodate the vortex generators under the car. This helps in increasing downforce on the front axle by 30%. Perhaps the most innovative and smart element is at the back end of the car. In normal low drag mode, the air flows over the cabin and exits through a vent between the tail lights. And in high down force mode, the central elements of the wing actually drops down and stops the flow, effectively creating a gigantic gurney flap. This patented system is said to develop 860 pounds of downforce at 186 MPH. Raising the central back into its original place requires less effort because it essentially floats on the airflow and engineers were able to reduce the weight of actuators by 66%. Interior The interior is fairly sedate, with a yellow prancing horse logo adding a little splash of color on the center of the steering wheel. This two-seat coupe is home to a dashboard with fluid lines that mimic the flowing design of the exterior of the car. With such high-performance exotics, cargo space is usually in very short supply. This is also the case for the SF90, which has roughly three cubic feet of room for stuff. All models of the car come with an LCD monitor in the front and a six-speaker sound system. The car is also equipped with the latest tech features, as well as a Bluetooth phone, streaming audio, real-time traffic, and an integrated navigation system. While Apple CarPlay integration is offered, Android Auto sadly is not on the waiting list of the available amenities. The SF90 debuts a digital dash and driver interface that will also apparently feature in other future Ferraris. The centerpiece of the interface is a fully configurable digital instrument panel on a full HD 16-inch curved freeform screen. This is an industry first, according to the head of HMI and ergonomics at Ferrari. The screen is also flanked by pods that are very close to the steering wheel. Touch controls present on the right pod adjust the HVAC functions, and those of the left pod are for the lights and exterior mirrors. There is no start-stop button either. One simply needs to touch the icon above the third spoke twice, and the car is ready to glide away. The hybrid mode is the default driving mode. With the new interface, the time a driver glances away from the road has been reduced by a lot. That's a wrap for our video on Ferrari's fastest hybrid ever. What do you think, Alicentiors? Would you pay a fortune to get your hands on this car? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for videos like this. See you in the next one.